Howdy! In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make a simple door like this, where you press a button, it opens, when you press the button again, it closes. How exciting! Also, I've noticed all the support on my like horror tutorial, like how to make a simple horror game. Just know you are all heard, thank you for all the likes and support from that video. I promise I'll be making a bunch more horror tutorials soon, because making horror games is a blast. Anyway, let's get into this video. So first things first, you need to actually build your door. So insert a little humanoid. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to avatar, rig builder, R6, and block avatar. We'll insert a dude. Then you could just insert a part and build your door however you'd like. So first we'll anchor, and I'm gonna put this in a folder and name it door two, because I already have a door. Then, actually I'll just copy this. I mean, I'm not trying to cop, I'm not trying to uh, clickbait you guys. You come here for a door, this is the door you're going to get. So I'll just build it like this. And if you guys are wondering how I just kind of magically pull parts out of other parts, all you have to do is press Control D and you can duplicate to your heart's content extent. I don't know. I don't know words, but yeah. So after you have the arch, you can put another part on the inside and shrink it a little bit. So now we have our door shape. I'm going to make this door look cooler. So. I'll do the outside as mm, concrete. I'll make it a little darker. Then I'll do this part as metal, I think. Yeah, so I'll make that a bit darker. So now I have this door. All I need is the button. So I'll just grab this wall, duplicate. And if you hold alt while dragging any of these parts, these axes, axes, you can scale the part like this, which is pretty handy. So yeah, I'll just make it neon and I'll make it a nice like red color with a glow. So we'll just name this part for the button, button, we'll name this part for the door, door. Now all you have to do is make it work. So inside of the button, insert a script and a click detector. We're going to name the script door handler, and then we'll just add a few variables. So first let's reference the button and the door. So local button, actually we don't need the button, we'll do click detector local cd for click detector equals script.parent.click detector and then local door equals script.parent.parent.door and then above that so we can have some smooth animations we'll ask if we could borrow the tween service so local ts for tween service equals game get service tween service then we're gonna add an opened like bool so local opened equals false because the door is currently closed and we're gonna add a debounce. So local debounce equals false. That's how we'll do the cooldown for the door so people can't spam it. So all we have to do is make it work now. So we'll just do cd.mouse click. So when the mouse, I mean, when the click detector is clicked, connect function, then we'll do if debounce double equals false, then if open double equals false, then it's a mouthful, sounds gross opened equals true and then we'll just invoke a tween so we'll do yes create door tween info dot new and right here we'll do local open time equals three so we'll just put this variable for open time into the tween info dot new so that's how long the tween or animation will take then we'll just do position equals vector three dot new and we can copy the position of the door when it's up like this. So we'll just scroll down and uh, go to transform and just grab the position. Then you can paste that. Whoops, wrong script. Ugh, sorry for the confusion. You can paste that here. For the sake of your sanity, I'm just gonna close door control. All right, then you can play this. So if we go and test it, the door will open. Now, just so I don't seem dumb, I'm gonna actually test that. And the door is already open, but if you press that, it would have opened it. You just have to trust me. So I'm gonna put this back down and then underneath this tween, I'm gonna do task.wait open time and I'm gonna do debounce equals false. Then at the top here, I'm gonna do debounce equals true, which well, this will prevent you from spamming the door. So like it will wait till the animation's completed before letting you mess with the door again. So all I have to do is copy the code from here to here, go underneath all of this and do else, paste that code, we'll set debounce, actually we'll keep the debounce the same, but we'll set opened to false, we will set 
this position right here to the position where the door is shut. So we'll just grab that real quick and we'll paste that here. And voila, all of this code. Well, actually, it's not voila, it's voila or whatever. I don't know, I can't speak, guys. But this code right here is all you need to make a functioning door. So if you go and play test it, when you press this button, the door will slide up. And we press it again, it will close. And if you spam it, it will wait till the animation is complete before letting you touch the door again. And if you want to make it so it was just a one time open door, you could just remove this else and bam, you have a puzzle door where if some bools equal to true, you can press this button and bam, awesome door. And just in case you actually want to do that, I would just right here do CD destroy underneath all of this code. So when you press the button, this thing will go away after the door opens. And bam, the project for this video will be in the description of the video. You can download it and use it to your heart's content. I know most of you guys already know how to make stuff like this, but for those who don't, here you go. So yeah, look forward to the horror and the other cool videos I have planned. I swear they're not all going to be simple forever, guys. But I'll try to explain them in a way that makes sense. So thank you for being here. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Bye-bye.